guys, hope everybody's having a great day today. I want to read a verse of scripture to you again today from the book of Ephesians. Today, chapter 4, verse 29, and it says this, Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. Now, the first part of this, let no corrupt word speak, you know, come from your mouth. Corrupt, uh, foul language, uh, anger, malice, those things that would be hurtful to other people. We've talked about this before, you know, people that get on our nerves or people that anger us in some way, uh, we want to react and it's, it's, or we want to, yeah, we want to react a lot of times. What we need to do is stop and respond. The difference between responding is means you give us a little more thought to what you're going to say as opposed to reacting and saying the first thing comes, you know, in your head. And a lot of times the first thing that comes into our head when we're angry is not exactly the, the thing we want to say or the thing that would be most pleasing to God or make the biggest difference in this person's life. Uh, you know, a lot of times when, when things happen in our lives and people, we, we notice people saying or doing things that are wrong and we want to, we want to let them know that, uh, it doesn't, it's not usually received very well. And the person usually walks away not thinking anything in terms of like, yeah, this is something I need to work on. I need to change this part of my life. But just thinking about, I can't stand that person just told me this. And they're even more angry than they were. So now you have two angry people. So what we really need to do is just stop, take a minute, and see what's the best thing. And sometimes the best thing is to say nothing and to just walk away. We, I've, I've talked about this so many times, told you the story about me uh, at Kroger, you know, when I was back in Georgia and that kind of, I won't go through that again. But sometimes the best thing for us to do is to say nothing. My mother always told me, and your mom probably told you too, if you can't think of something nice to say, don't say anything at all. And a lot of times that is the best policy. Uh, it says, you know, don't let any corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, except words that are going to edify and lift up. We need to be more uplifting uh, and pray for those people that maybe are causing us some distress or causing us to be a little angry. So we want to say things that we shouldn't. Pray for them and maybe don't say anything. Anyway, guys, I hope, hope this helps you. Uh, let's pray, spend more time praying, less time pointing our finger at folks. Hope that you have a great day. God bless you, and we will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.